Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants from Come On Now, the podcast. I'm your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomont. Before we jump in, thank you for your support. We have now over 2,200 subscribers, so thank you so much. Please help us get to 2,300 by the end of the day. <clears throat> Would love it. Um, but yeah, before we jump in, um, t- tomorrow I'm going to have an off day because I haven't taken a day off really in the last, realistically, from posting videos for the last three months and recording. So tomorrow will be an off day as I am celebrating my wife's birthday with her. So I will not be on here. So you can see me back here on Monday as I'm sure I'll have something to say about something. But now that we jump into this, I want to show you something real fast. So you see this image right here. This image is an image of the ESPN YouTube page. It is ESPN says live. It, as you see at ESPN, there's 12.2 million subscribers, 82,000 views. You have Reddick, was not, not even there anymore. Molly Q, Greeny, Stephen A, Pat McAfee, Scott Van Pelt. Uh, you see, this is the ESPN page. I bring this to you because I want to show you that this is the actual ESPN page. So there's no misunderstanding about it. And now I'm going to show you another image. And this was, as you see, 1230 was this screen image. It is now 1254 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Here is the other, and I'm showing that to you for a reason. See this image? This was the image that I took literally right before it. Why do I show this to you? What's wrong with this picture? ESPN. Game is on ABC at 8.30 p.m. The WNBA All-Star game, game is finally here. This game is on ESP. I'm not, well, it's on the ESPN network. So ABC under Disney. It's the same damn company. What is wrong with this photo? I'll wait. I'll give you a chance to take a look. Do you see anything wrong with this photo? <clears throat> now that I've waited, this is Chini Agumake. This is Aaliyah Boston. This is Angel Reese. This is Alicia Gray. This is John Quell Jones. This is Kayla McBride. This is Brianna Jones. This is Diarica Hamby, Caitlin Clark, Dewana Bauer, Arike Agumbo Wale. You may notice that I skipped over somebody. This one right here. Right there. Who is that? You know who it is? It is Nalissa Smith. Nalissa Smith is not in the All-Star game. Nalissa Smith is not on the All-Star team. Nalissa Smith just happens to be teammates with Kelsey Mitchell, who is on the All-Star team. So let's think about that for a second. You are the network broadcasting the game. You are the worldwide leader in sports. The ridiculous mistakes that you can, I mean, beyond the fact this is blatantly fucking insulting to Kelsey Mitchell. The mistakes that ESPN makes when talking about the WNBA. The, I, I mean, this is prepared. Someone, someone, not someone, someone's at with an S. People should lose their jobs. This is a disgrace. Lose your job. If you don't know who's on the team, ask. If the person who approves this doesn't know, ask. But there's a there's a, a list of people who should get fired for this. Do not sit here and tell me that you're promoting the WNBA because that's what you're telling us and you can't even get right who was on the All-Star team. It's bad enough that Caitlin Clark didn't compete on Friday and uh, Sabrina didn't compete on Friday and Angel Reese fails to show up to the orange carpet, fails to show up to the community events and says she has to get paid to show up. That is, a, and then the WNBA seemingly was giving the Player of the Month award to Player of the Week award to to Caitlin Clark, because they had a video montage on their social media of her. Then below it, above it, saying Sabrina Ionescu was the Player of the Week, despite the fact that Caitlin Clark broke two WNBA records in the same game in that week <coughs> with 19 assists, <clears throat> and uh, 
66 total points combined between points and assists. It's bad enough that the WNBA makes these mistakes. I mean, God, between the WNBA and the e- and ESPN, I don't know who's worse. The failures of these organizations, it's unbelievable. But And then you made her front and center. Melissa Smith is right in the middle. She's right. She's the she's the face of this photo. If you really want to be real about it, she's the face of the photo. And this is this is embarrassment. This is such an embarrassing situation. ESPN again. ESPN games at eight thirty, and you don't know who's on the All Star team. For those of you that who don't know. This is Kelsey Mitchell. She looks nothing like Melissa Smith. She's also like six inches shorter and 50 pounds lighter. That's Kelsey Mitchell. It's shameful. (laughs) It's shameful. Like, I can't even. Oh, my God. I did see that um, Alicia Gray won the skills and three-point contest. I saw the highlights of it. Didn't watch it. Wasn't really interested. I didn't see get to see Caitlin Clark compete. And I know why she said she didn't compete. She's burnt out. She's tired. She's gone a year straight. I mean, I don't have to like it. I still don't like it. Um, she says she ain't. She, has, she hasn't shot off racks, and, and she's really never done that before. Um, that's fine. Still don't like it. It doesn't change my opinion. Uh, I understand, but I don't like it. I don't like it with Sabrina Ionescu either, saying that she had practice that day for the for the Olympic team. Like all these things are. You want to grow your game. You want to grow your game. You want to grow your game. You need to grow the game, and yet you have Caitlin doesn't show, doesn't play, but she was there at least. She was there at the orange carpet. She was there at all the events. Sabrina's there at all the events. Angel Reese doesn't show up for one day and says she has to get paid to be a community stuff. Doesn't show up to the orange carpet thing, the thing that would fit her perfectly because she likes to dress up. And she's the biggest social media icon for the WNBA, realistically. She has more followers than anyone between Instagram and TikTok. But this is ESPN. This is your network. This is the network that just supposedly has a bunch of paid a bunch of rights to have you and all that crap. And which they really didn't pay the WNBA. It really turns out that the dub the NBA got paid. And the, the $2.2 billion is an allocation the NBA made to the WNBA, which we know why. So the NBA determined the value of the WNBA, but that much was allocated because of Caitlin Clark. But this is a joke. This is so fucking pathetic. I, I, I mean, there's no words. It's like, it's, oh my God. You're going to put this game on television, t- television tonight and don't know who's on the, who don't, don't know who's on the team. Thankfully, the Team USA graphic was correct, so I didn't put it up there. But if I'm Kelsey Mitchell right now, I'm pissed. I'm pissed. That's offensive. And the people who did this shit should all get fired. Because they're, in- they're incompetent. They're incompetent. But that's all I got. Let me know your thoughts. Leave a message, leave a comment. Be sure to ring that bell. Come on now.